announcement to make. Next week, there won't be a weekend. Well, there will be a Saturday and a Sunday, but what I mean is it's Good Friday next Friday, so we shan't be here. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so, Sue Robbie's got a double helping of what's on. Serve it up, Sue. All right, then. First off, Winston Churchill's coming to Fleetwood. That's the sailing ship, Winston Churchill, owned by the Sail Training Association. She'll be mooring in about oh, two and a half hours at the wire dock in Fleetwood. On Sunday, she'll be open to the public. And then the following Sunday, Easter Day, she'll be setting sail again with an all-girl crew. Ted's trying to get in on that one, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I, I heard, <laughs> I know, it's awful. Speaking of modern Casanovas, Alfie's back. Last year, Adam Faith played Alfie in a very successful production at the Liverpool Playhouse, and he's back there until the 12th of May. What's On met up with Adam at the Playhouse, and the first thing we asked him was how the production came to be revived. Last time we did it, Alan Parker directed it, him and our friends, and we really did it away from London because we felt we, just, we didn't know how it was going to turn out. He, I hadn't worked in theatre for some years. He'd never worked in a theatre. And so we thought we'd go and hide somewhere and do it. And it came out rather better than we expected. And we hadn't made any plans to take it on to London. So really, this production is with a view to taking it, taking it into town. It was very strange doing it the first week of rehearsal, because when the other girls, all the girls are different. So when they were saying their lines, I could hear the other, the old car saying it. But now having got into it, um, I think everybody feels pleased with the way it's all gone. Why do you think Alfie's lasted as well as it has? Well, I think he's lasted because he's so true. You know, there's some of Alfie in every man. And I think when the audience look at it, they see, they see these girls being treated by Alfie, like he does. And they see their husband up there. They see the boyfriend. They see some of themselves in some of the girls. You know, they can relate to any... Everybody in the audience can relate to something that's going on. Yeah, I know what you mean, Adam. Well, we're into the Easter holidays now, so here's one to get the kids out of your hair. From next Monday till Thursday, they can go to King George's Hall in Blackburn, where they'll be actively encouraged to act silly, lark about, fall over, and yell their heads off. Yippee! The show is called Clown for a Day, and the idea is that they watch the professional clowns and then put on the baggy pants and the grease paint and join in. The new film release, which is really taking off all over the Northwest from today, is Footloose. The kids will love it. It's fast and furious fun, which isn't its only resemblance to fame. Footloose also stars fame's Laurie Singer. She was in London a few days ago, where we asked her to tell us a bit about it. Footloose is about oppression in a small town and the young people's uprising to try and change that. What sort of oppression? Oppression by my father, who's the reverend of the town, and he's just a religious um, fanatic. And he, in his own belief, he doesn't believe in music, in rock music, and he doesn't believe in dancing, disco dancing. So he's, you know, imposing very strict values on our town. As a matter of fact, the town that we shot in um, right now is banning the junior dance. I mean, they're saying no junior dance. They're very religious, and they're very strict. <laughs> And a new production opened last night at the Royal Exchange Theatre in Manchester, the Tennessee Williams play Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. It runs until May the 12th, and one of the leading roles is played by Connie Booth, who used to be Polly in Faulty Towers. Basil? Yes, yeah, remember her. <laughs> now, here's a first. We've had sponsored walks, sponsored swims, sponsored slimming, and even sponsored darts throwing. But that's all old hat. So now, we've got sponsored Kiss of Lifing. That's... One name for it that I have not heard before. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's all in a good cause. This is the St. John's Ambulance Group at Whitefield training for a sponsored mouth-to-mouth -mouth at the Pilkington Centre in Whitefield <laughs> starting on Good Friday evening. <laughs> I think it could be really fun. Now, the music you can hear is by a promising new local band, Moving Pictures, and they're playing at the Dance Factory Bolton on April 25th. Well, might be worth a visit. And if you haven't had enough of Paul Jones, and let's face it, who has, mm -hmm. then go along to Hyde United Social Club tomorrow at 8 o'clock. They're holding a night of pop nostalgia, and Sid assures me he'll have all sorts of 60s music, but especially Manfred Mann and Paul Jones singles. <laughs>
thought we'd end up on a goodie pool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the 60s, why is it always the 60s? I'm not crying because I'm so old, I'm crying because this is Sue's last show with Weekend. She's been on loan to us from children's programmes and they want her back. Are you working on The prices Right now, are you? No, 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 kids are far <laughs> too intelligent and subtle for that show now. I'm working on First Post and Hold Tight. Um, but anyway, Debbie Greenwood will be doing What's On in a few weeks, so write to her in future and please would you give at least two weeks notice of events. Ah, Debbie Greenwood, as you must know by now, is Miss Great Britain. Frankie, I believe you were once judged a <laughs> beauty <laughs> competition. <laughs> you were never Miss Great Britain, no. You judged a beauty competition though, didn't you? And in Morecambe as well. Yes, only once. <laughs> Why only once? Well, <laughs> well, I was, I was um, playing up at Morecambe. You know, the, the, the theatre was open then, and um, they asked me if I'd uh, judge the beauty.